Welcome back. Today I'm going to make a snakeskin sheath for a knife I made in a previous video. I'm giving the sheath and the knife away when I reach a thousand subscribers. If you'd like to enter to win, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on the video where I make the knife. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Let's get started. First thing I do when making a sheath is trace the knife on a piece of paper. I can then use that to sketch out a rough template. Then I use a razor blade to cut out the template so I can transfer it to the leather. The leather I'm going to use for the main bulk of the sheath is 7-8 Vegetan. I'll also be using some 3-4 Vegetan for the strap. To cut the leather, I use a razor blade and a metal ruler as a guide to get clean straight lines. Once you have the back of the sheath cut out, you'll want to cut out two more pieces large enough to cover the blade. Then taking one of those pieces, trace your blade onto it and cut it out like so. Next, we're going to use a little spray adhesive to temporarily hold it all together. Being careful not to get any on surfaces that will be showing on the final product. I'm marking my holes for the stitching 1 8th, sorry, 3 16ths apart. And using my pencil, I make little indentations to help index the drill bit. Now using a 16th bit, drill all the holes for the stitching. Then I temporarily stitch it together in a couple of spots so I can shape the edge on the belt sander. After taking it apart, I have a few more holes to mark out and drill. And we're done with that piece for now. After doing a little trim work on the back of the sheath, it's time to create our belt loop. I use a razor to cut a very slight groove where I want the crease to be. Then I apply a little bit of water to help the leather fold. Then I cut the strap out of that 3-4 Vegetan we talked about earlier. And now we're ready to dye our pieces. My favorite color of leather dye is dark brown. This stuff is also great at staining your skin, so I recommend gloves if you got them. I need to make a punch for the rivets I got. To do this, I drilled a 5 30 seconds hole into a 5 16 brass rod.
marking and drilling five 30 seconds holes to attach a strap. And now we get to use our riveting tool we just made. Then we do the same thing for the belt loop rivets. Now we're ready to laminate our rattlesnake skin onto the front of the sheath. We're going to use spray adhesive to hold it in place while we trim it and stitch it together. This snake skin is from a rattlesnake I got a few years ago. Leave a comment if you would like me to make a video on how to skin and tan a rattlesnake hide. I use a sewing needle to apply a little bit of super glue to hold the flaps down. And now to stitch it all together using braided wax tool thread. Bet you can't stitch this fast. When you make your final knot, use a lighter to melt it together so it won't loosen. Mmm, that fits nice. We now need to attach a snap button to the strap. Make sure it's tight because it will loosen over time. And there you have it. Remember, if you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And if you want to enter to win this knife, leave a comment on this video right here and subscribe right there. Thanks for watching.